Boy, <laughs> what is up, game breakers, and welcome to possibly a terrible, terrible idea. So, this <laughs> what I'm playing is Darksiders, and I'm not just doing a regular run of this. You see, <laughs> me and Alex of the Soul of the Dam channel, link in the description below is that we're both doing, we've both made a bet. Although, I've changed the rules of the bet, he already knows about it, he's accepted to the terms. The, the, the bet was originally, I would pay him £20 if he could complete the game on Apocalypse mode. And then he released the first episode and he let me see the second episode early. Uh, first episode's got a few issues with that uh, in terms of audio. Second one's actually a lot better. Like, I can fucking hear him. But I want it done on the action. So I said to him, how about this? If you can get further than me and, ask, and say I give up, I'll give you £20. However, this works vice versa as well. But if one of us wins and the other one gives up, the one who gave up has to give the winner... £40 if they can complete the final boss. But because this is Apocalypse mode, <laughs> won't go well. It's not gonna go well. Uh, yes, overwrite the file. Apocalyptic mode. So, yes, now the madness begins. Wish me so much luck. Plus, Alex is playing this on PC, I'm playing it on Xbox One because my PC won't be able to run it. Press A to jump. Thank you, loading screen. I now know how to jump. I mean, what would we do without loading screens, people? Since the dawn of time, the armies of heaven and hell have waged an endless war. Drawn to the conflict was the Charred Council. An entity bound by ancient laws to preserve order and balance. It held that any great power, unchecked, threatened the very fabric of the universe. In time, heaven and hell came to honor the council and its laws. For none were beyond the swift and terrible justice of the council's enforcers. A fearsome brotherhood known as the Four Horsemen. Amid the turmoil, the first humans emerged. The Council foretold that these weak but cunning creatures would someday be integral to the balance. Thus, a third kingdom was named. The Kingdom of Man. By order of the Council, a truce was forged between Heaven and Hell. The Great Pact was bound by seven seals to be broken at the appointed time. When man's kingdom stood ready for the end war. A battle that would bring balance and determine the ultimate fate of the three kingdoms.
Okay, first things first. Uh, oh, it's in data. Sorry, I'm. Uh, yeah. Uh, that was. The, I think that was the last time I tried to do it or something. Unless that's another save file. Uh, nope. I'm gonna do put in two save slots for now. But as you can see, it is apocalyptic difficulty. Um, I did try this before, but the audio, my my commentary just stopped all of a sudden. Just, it just went, eh, eh, fuck it, and just died. But now, I won't let that happen. Right, so one thing you'll notice if you watch um, Alex's playthrough on Soul of the Damned, um, you'll see that he's got the Abyssal Armor. Uh, he got, fucking hell they hurt. Uh, he's got the Abyssal Armor, well, I don't in my original playthrough, which I just played, like, I, I actually completed that not long uh, after I moved uh, back to Scotland. Um, um, yeah, uh, ow, fucking hell, how did I do that sawblade attack? Um, yeah, um, fuck's sake. Fucking hit you with a pole! Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, I did complete this, but I never got the Abyssal Armor, and I was just too lazy to get it for this playthrough. Fuck it, Chaos Form! But I can't believe I've lost two cores already. That is... Alex can have a fucking field day with that. Hell, yep. Okay, now he's dead. So yeah, one thing I always like get as confused with is that I always accept my yes he is here. Um, I always expect my uh, health to refill. You're dead. <laughs> oh fuck! The humans are helpless and war kills them. But I always expect them to refill his health. You know, like in um, Devil May Cry. But this isn't Devil Trigger. It's fucking chaos for. There's a difference, I I I, I think. I believe there's a difference. But they hope killing angels is a, is fun. It is fuck angels. Seriously, I do not like fighting these things in the main game. It's they're a pain in the arse. Like, sure, they're supposed to be, like, a more, more advanced race, I guess? Just a pain in the arse to fight. Now, follow the big man. Oh, It's happening. Now, I'm weak. As you can see, you can see I'm actually getting weaker. Going from six to... Is it seven to two or uh, to four or six to four? I don't know. I wasn't paying enough attention. You, oh, why cutscene? I was going to slaughter a person. But it had to block. Oh! I'll slaughter you instead. Can I pick you up? No. Slaughter! Stop shooting me, it's not nice! Fuck you! Fuck you and your justice at hand! Fucking, is there anything I can pick up? At least they're fighting each other. Oh, fucking hell! Well, that's your fault for being in the way then. Alright, you hold down, you jump and then hold down uh, the, the X button. Ah, that's how you do it. Spinning saw blade attack. Uh, so even though I've been watching a bit of Alex's playthrough, I'm not going for the same stuff as him. There is um, a particular weapon that um, that you can get in the shop that he is not getting in the playthrough at all, which I will be getting because I like it. Die, human! 
Oh, I can't pick you up. Uh, there was a fucking car there. I could have thrown that. The fucking angels. This is mine now. I'm taking this with me. Where do I go? I just go forward. Fuck okay. it. Too slow. Can't remember where to go. Am I going this way? No. Must be this way. Is this where it, where a bit opens up and just fucking says go this way? No. I forgot where to go and it's the fucking to. All oh, right. I saved your life. War does not know how to save people. Right, is this the bit where it opens? Okay, yes. I don't think that guy survived. Where, where, where's it growing? Oh, there it is. Uh, slashity, slashity, slash, slash. And you can have some as well. Is that other guy dead? Huh, okay. Yeah, this this game is pretty good, but it's bru I think it's harder than, well, the first Devil May Cry. First Devil May Cry can be pretty difficult. Um, I don't know about the second. Thank you! I appreciate that. No! Aww. He had him, and he failed. Yeah, it is definitely a lot harder than the first Devil May Cry, which admittedly is difficult until the final boss, then it's just fucking pathetic. Uh, feel free to agree with me on that if you want. I just feel like it was far too pathetic for, its, for, for a game that's supposed to be fucking difficult. Yeah, you just get down there. Fuck, they do hurt. I swear to God, like, does the Abyssal Armor actually help? Does it, like, actually reduce damage in this mode? Because and Alex isn't too sure himself. Tables. Die. Ow! Fucking... I keep forget. I didn't know you could... There was a destructible environment. Oh, fuck. Ow! Cannot die in the tutorial. That would be fucking terrible. That would make me look like a fucking laughing stock of the YouTube town. Yeah, YouTube town's a thing. Because I said so. Right, so I know someone's questioning me out there. I'm answering your question. Jesus, everything hurts. I don't like this anymore. This was a terrible idea. I guess I'm a masochist. If I'm agreeing, if I'm like coming up with these ideas. Fucking hell. And Alex is already at like the Twilight. Is it Twilight Mansion or Twilight Manor? Whatever it is. He's already at that bit. Well, they're dead. They're not coming back. Uh, let's grab one of this. Right. Oh, fuck yeah, the angels bit. Oh. I won't be using the lock-on feature that much. It's it's a pretty bad feature. I mean, all right, I'll use I'll probably use it a couple of times, but as soon as the auto lock-on comes on, I'll uh, there's no point in using that because by pushing down the trigger to go into a different mode is fuck me. I'm, I'm, I'm low on health already! I'm... <laughs> I don't like this game anymore. Oh fuck, that's embarrassing. Well, my brothers are late. You see, they stopped for ice cream. I mean, I couldn't say no. I mean, they stopped for ice cream, for fuck's sake. You don't say no to ice cream. 
Remember that. That's that's top tips from Mills. You say no. You don't say no to ice cream. Are they dead? Oh no, they're not. They're just they're they're just hanging back. That's probably going to be the name of the part. You don't say no to ice cream. <laughs> Top tips from Mills. Your wing's gone. And your stab. Right, now to continue. Unless there's another one. No? Okay. Bringing car. No, actually, no. That's where you fight um, somebody. have you done? Technical thing about it, he's done nothing wrong. As he said, he was just answering the call, but he wasn't the one who killed Abaddon. Unless fucking scary hell giant had had something to do with that. Unless they have some kind of link. I don't think they do. Okay, throw it. Give me a car. To the face. I'm thinking you can get like two cars at home. <laughs> oh, wait, that causes a shock. Did that cause a shock in the original version? Like, the, not the original version, the um. Oh, fucking hell. Ow! Okay, I'm moving too slow for now. It is quite an easy boss, this. It's more of a case of like, he does like one, two punches to the floor. And you can just. I don't know if that hit me. I'll probably see it close. But you can dodge them quite easily. I think his. Uh, there's a fight later on with him that is a bit of a bastard. I hope to god I- Fuck! I was gonna pick up that fucking car later on! But you had to destroy it. There we are. This boss is basically all about jumping at the right time and... Just not like that. I think I got a few hits in there. Yeah. Yeah, just keep doing this and you'll, you'll be just fine. And he, he, it's basically a very predictable boss. But for the first boss, I think it's done alright. Second car, please. Se second. There's no second car! We're doomed! Doomed. 
Smash! Fucking throw the car! Cars! Thank you! Try to smash your face! I will take out your eye! And fail. <laughs> chest pains! Having chest pains! The law has been broken. And so have you, Horseman. <laughs> the horsemen always have. Send me back. I will punish the ones responsible. How? What hope do you have against the destroyer's armies? You are powerless. Then I will fail, and the demons will have carried out your sentence. Very well. You will return to the Earth, but you will be watched. Two things. One, the Watcher sounds like Transformers Prime Starscream. I swear to God he does. So I'm going to call him Starscream from now on. Two, when they say back to Earth, I swear to God they mean only the United States of America. Northern America. Because at the start when you see those meteors fall, it's on America. Most notably, possibly New York City. So we're going back to New York. <laughs> this game is set in New York City. 
So me and Starscream are going to... Fucking... Why can I just imagine that? Just fucking, like... Oh, have I got no dash anymore? The dead will be your currency. Some enemies are more easily bought than killed. Blade laser. Oh, no, I haven't got my dash. I haven't got the fucking harpoon attack. I hope to God I've got my, um... I've got my, uh... My so spinning saw blade. No! Council confers with demons now, does it? Since the truce was broken, some demons have fallen from the destroyer's favor. Volgrim is one such outcast. He has long sought an audience with us. How long have I been here? War has died twice in like what, some five minutes or something. Looks like our trajectory was a little off. Not so fast, horseman. I just started. Stop competing, my progress. Your ground rules. Until this is over, you're a dog on a leash. I say Wait. bark, you bark. Right, he sounds like you. Starscream and important. the Joker. Understand? Or should I teach you to play dead? I'm hearing more of the Joker in him now. Oh, before I heard the Transformers Prime Starscream. Good boy, Batman. It's like something like a little bit like Mark Hamill's Joker, but not completely. I don't think it is Mark. No, I, I don't think it's Mark Hamill at all who voices him. Also, there are Zambos here. Where'd the souls come from? Wait. Where are the souls coming from? Ugh, the, I'm sorry, the, like one thing I don't like about this game is actually the double jump. Um, nope, that doesn't work. Um, the double jump just feels very, like, I, I, I guess it kind of works with what, with uh, the way War is. Cause he's not supposed to be like a very agile character. But, um, but my god, fucking hell. Um, he feels way too heavy. It's it, it's always felt awkward to me. I mean, I get like once you get um oh for, forgot what it's called um the one that lets you fuck sake the one that lets you fly. Um, that's where it feels a bit better. Right, am I supposed to grab onto here or something? Yep. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, it just feels awkward. Well, what do you know? Umbrella were actually still still intact during this apocalypse. Like umbrella, is at it again. First it was a train, then it was a mansion, then it was like a city. Now it's the fucking world. Jesus Christ, umbrella! When will you stop? These things are. You can use them and execution kill immediately. And uh, that's. I would say that unless you need a bit of health, 
Um, there's not any point in going straight for an execution kill because they give you more health in terms of an execution kill. Well, if you just kill them outright without that, you'll just get the soul sprit, which I recommend doing uh, at the start. They're not that hard to kill. And when you when you start playing the game a lot more and you level up and shit like, fuck off. Um, when you start leveling up a lot more, include, like mainly like your KLC are and getting more weapons and more moves, you'll you'll pretty much end up one shotting them. So there isn't really any much. Any much uh... Fuck! Are these things this early in apocalypse mode? I don't recall them being this fucking. Wait, have they always been there? I don't recall them only being there. Gone like low. Alright, okay. Fucking hell! No bets! The pain a bad boy! You must be punished! Okay, it is a good thing I waited. I've got some cider, which. Now thinking about it, I was that's a terrible fucking idea. Drinking cider while playing this game. Oof. What the fuck am I thinking? Mills and his bad decisions, he's at it again. Well anyway, speaking of my bad decisions, am I supposed to go up? Oh yes, I'm supposed to go up. That was a right thing to do. Jump! And tables! I'm fucking black keys with my. Oh wait, did, did I throw. Did I, did I break the chair? Fucking hell, they are here early! Like. Fucking hell, man! Oh fuck, they hurt! Fuck me, Blade Geyser! Alright, that's, that's, oh, well, he's, he's, he's blown up. Right, I need some help after that. Can you die? Oh, I'll just throw a table at you. Fuck, things hurt in this game. Dead. 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 You can die definitely. And you can die like that. It's like, you can, you can be my help. Oh, so I didn't need health. It was chest here all along. Yeah, you get different types of chests. You get the green for health, the blue for uh, money, the uh, yellow for wrath. I don't know if there's one for chaos, which you're not going to see for quite a while. Because you get that first boss, I believe. Um, but yeah, um, there are different ones as well. Like, I think they have, like, they're different shape, and there's, like, it has like it swirls with a uh, kind of like black looking energy on it. Um, if that happens, then it's like a health shard for green, or for yellow, it's a wrath shard. And what they do is basically, I think it's a case of get four, and it'll um, permanently increase either your wrath or your health depending on what one you get. Okay, now that really helps. Should have full health now. Right. I've got heck. Wow, like, I know it didn't look like much, but that still fucking hurts. Fucking hell, war is a pussy. I'm sorry, Alex, I know you do enjoy this game and you think war is cool, but come on, like, it takes so much fucking hell. I mean, that's from a fucking zombie for fuck's sake. Anyway, on we go. Oh boy, here we go. I swear to god, one of the zombies was pushing a fucking chair around. I've never seen that happen. Fucking you. That. Fucking you. Don't fucking die. I need the money. I am poor. Fucking these 
don't summon. Yes, I love it when you see when you see them. This is what more games need: some kind of friendly fire system thing, where it does actually fucking affect. <laughs> Just a fucking dink. Heart. Table, no chair. Yeah. Oh, my God, that fucking heart. Yikes. Fucking hell, I was not prepared! Bitch slap, bitch slap, bitch slap! Stop. You fucking deserve that, you prick. Jesus! I expect them to be strong, but not that fucking strong! Holy fuck, man! Turns out I was going the wrong way all along. I should have been going this way. Ah, oh boy. Oh, he's on beginning hell. Yeah, I'm going to be doing a number of these execution kills now because, for fuck's sake. He fucking hurt, mate. He just fucking hurt. <gasps> health! 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 health. Yeah! <laughs> uh, uh, fucking heart. Oh boy. Crossroads. We're technically out of that tutorial area, but. How long was I gone? In Earth years? About a century. Long enough for the last of the mouth breathers to die off. Except for Umbrella. The third kingdom is lost. Apart from Umbrella. Seriously. If so, you're surely not empty handed. For this shall be the briefest of introductions. the power behind the one called Destroyer. You will find the answers and the font of his power there. Oh, such haste to die. You aren't even a shadow of your former self. You wouldn't last a heartbeat. Besides, the way to the tower is shrouded by demon magics. Even I do not know the way. Who does? Feed my hunger. And I'll feed your curiosity. 
Uh, you know what? I'm gonna leave this episode off here. I need a break after finding that out. So, I've been Mills. This is Darksiders Apocalypse Mode. And I'll catch you all next time. See you later!